Kaku, thanks for joining us. Do they have control of the situation at the site? No. It's still a ticking time bomb. Officials will have their work cut out for them in Fukushima. The operator of the nuclear plant says contaminated water from a leaked tank may be spreading. Workers detected a spike in the level of radioactivity in groundwater near the container. Engineers with Tokyo Electric Power Company estimate that more than 300 tons of contaminated water leaked last month from a storage tank near the number 4 reactor. They say some of it may have seeped into the ocean through a drainage system. On Sunday, workers collected water from a new well that they dug near the tank. They found 3,200 becquerels of strontium and other radioactive substances per liter. That's five times higher than levels found last week in a sample taken from another well. Workers are planning to dig more wells to determine the extent of the contamination. This could be the, the world's record holder for an industrial accident. Americans think this crisis is over, or that some even think that maybe it's solved or it's contained. It's, it's not. Japanese officials have filled in some of the details of their plan to deal with the crisis. They provided an outline of it to members of the International Atomic Energy Agency. Japanese leaders approved the plan last week. Ambassador Toshiro Ozawa presented it at IAEA meeting in Vienna. He said the buildup of radioactive water is the most urgent issue. So all the mythology of the accident has been turned upside down because utility has finally fessed up to how severe this accident really was. People in other countries, especially Japan's neighbors, are concerned about the problem. But in New York City, you can actually see it in the milk. I understand they expect us to carry out the plan successfully, and they want us to keep them up to date about the situation. We were told three partial meltdowns, don't worry about it. Now we know it was 100% core melt in all three reactors. Radiation, minimal, that was released. Now we know it was comparable to the radiation at Chernobyl. Japanese officials plan to update the IAEA next week about the current situation at the plant. Officials from Japan's fisheries agency are calling for talks with their counterparts in South Korea. They want to discuss a ban on imports of seafood from Fukushima and seven other prefectures. Japanese fishermen are upset about the decision. A top representative from the country's biggest fishermen's association met the fisheries agency chief on Tuesday. We want to ask for the government's effort and support so the ban will be lifted as soon as possible. Hiroshi Kishi says information on the safety of Japanese seafood should be made public as soon as possible. Fisheries Agency Chief Kazuyoshi Honkawa says Japan has already urged South Korea to reconsider the ban. He says Japanese officials want to hold working level talks. How are they storing and disposing of this stuff? That's the killer because they have all these vats that are filling up now. They may have to dump it into the ocean again. At that point the Chinese, the Koreans, the fishermen, they get up all in arms because there's so much damage that every time you put water in it leaks right out again, highly radioactive. and it's filling up at the site now. So what, what do they do with it? Right now they're just uh, counting the number of gallons as they pile up, desperately trying to bring more vats in, but uh, once they saturate they're going to have to dump and at that point it's another crisis. Government officials are also struggling with decontamination work in areas near the plant. The Environment Ministry says it will take longer than expected in seven out of eleven municipalities. Minister Nobuteru Ishihara says the work will continue after the initial deadline at the end of next March. Officials say they're having trouble locating residents who have left the area. They need to get their approval before they can decontaminate their properties. They're also struggling to find space to store radioactive soil. The ministry plans to draw up a new timetable by the end of the year after consulting local municipalities. The timetable will influence when residents can return home. I'm a physicist, and we tried to reconstruct the accident in our computers given the feeble amount of information they gave us. We knew it was much more severe than they were saying because radiation was coming out left and right. 
So, in other words, they lied to us. There's excitement in the air with Tokyo's winning Olympic bid, but the Fukushima issue will be one of the main challenges toward the 2020 Games. NHK World's Kurando Tago has more. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe appeared to beam with pride on Tuesday, returning to his office for the first time since he helped Tokyo win the 2020 Games. But he knows Japan will have to follow through on a key pledge that he made to the IOC. From now on, we'll focus on making the Olympics in 2020 a success and we'll play a responsible role in tackling the radioactive water at Fukushima. Right, this could be the granddaddy of all industrial accidents. As we promised in Buenos Aires. Abe is backing on the Olympics to boost the economy and attract more tourists to the country. The number of visitors dropped nearly 30 percent in the aftermath of the 2011 disasters. Tourism now is on the mend. Thanks in part to a weaker yen, July saw a record 1 million foreign visitors come to Japan. Asakusa is one of the most popular areas for tourists in Tokyo. Many welcomed the IOC's decision to award the city the 2020 Olympics. Uh, we still have seven more years, so I think uh, the Japanese government will do a good work, so everything's going to be like good for the future. I'm just hoping that from a historical point we can look back on it after it's all said and done and say that Japan did do the right thing by hosting it and they did an excellent job in balancing that with the needs of the Japanese people during this time of crisis. The accident could start all over again. It's like hanging by your fingernails. Yeah, it's stable, but you're hanging by your fingernails. This is Professor Hidenori Tomozoe heads Waseda University's School of Sports Sciences. He says the government needs to act on its words and ensure the Olympics will benefit the people affected by the March 2011 disasters. If the Olympics were to contribute to the reconstruction efforts, then there needs to be a solid plan that outlines how Tokyo will work with the disaster hit areas and what the games will achieve. And he points out that providing credible information on the Fukushima Daiichi situation is crucial. Scientific evidence should be disclosed to show whether Fukushima is really safe. Information needs to be provided in real time. Japan should not be seen to be hiding or manipulating information. So while the country celebrates winning the right to host the 2020 Games, Japan is aware the whole world is watching how it will handle the nuclear crisis. Though the Olympics are still seven years away, the government needs to act now and speed up efforts to resolve the issues at Fukushima Daiichi. They knew how much radiation was coming out, they knew the danger, they knew how much core melting was taking place, but they tried to put a happy face on it. The government is gearing up to deal with the leakage. A panel of cabinet ministers has held their first meeting to accelerate a solution. We are gathering all the available knowledge from experts both at home and abroad to create an effective solution to the contaminated water issue. The government has already decided to spend about $470 million of taxpayers' money to deal with the issue. The panel has decided to identify potential risk factors and compile necessary countermeasures before the end of this year. Within hours of the accident, we now know it was like the Keystone Cops. People that are clueless, headless, just running around crazy, not knowing what to do. Wednesday marks two and a half years since a massive, massive earthquake and tsunami devastated northeastern Japan. More than 215,000 people are still living away from home in three prefectures. The National Police Agency says nearly 16,000 people died in the disaster. Over 2,600 remain missing. The Reconstruction Agency says more than 2,600 fell ill and died after they evacuated. Evacuees from the hardest-hit prefectures of Iwate, Miyagi and Fukushima are living in temporary housing or rented apartments. Construction of public housing for displaced people is progressing slowly. Only 1.6% of the planned units have been completed in the three prefectures.
people. And as far as evacuation, yeah, 12 miles, that's it. You don't have to evacuate beyond 12 miles. Now they find hot spots, four hot spots outside the evacuation zone. 34,000 school children now have radiation badges when they go to Kindergartners school. Kindergartners with radiation badges. Down to badges. four years of age. Can you imagine that? Kindergarten kids with radiation badges going to school. So Minutes from the Bank of Japan's last meeting show many board members are hoping that the government will remain on course with efforts to improve the nation's fiscal health. The minutes covered the BOJ's two-day policy meeting, which ended on August 8th. Many members indicated that it was important to have faith in the government's fiscal reforms. One policymaker said backtracking on the policies would lead to a loss of trust in the Japanese government bonds and higher long-term interest rates. BOJ Governor Haruhiko Kuroda last week expressed support for the consum consumption tax hike. He said postponing it could lead to lower state bond prices, making it difficult for the bank to stabilize interest rates. We can now reconstruct that accident minute by minute, hour by hour, and we can see this chaos that erupted in the leadership of the utility. Japanese retailers were happy to hear Tokyo will be hosting the 2020 Olympics, but shopkeepers may not be too upbeat about the country boosting the consumption tax. The nation's prime minister has been treading carefully on the issue. Ron Madison has been following the story run. Yeah, not a done deal just yet, Gene. The uh, government still wants to make sure that the economy is strong enough to really shoulder any added weight uh, from a potential uh, consumption tax. The Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has instructed his cabinet ministers to work out a package of strong measures to ensure the country's continued economic recovery. He issued the instructions before making a final decision on whether to go ahead with that planned consumption tax hike next April. Abe conferred informally with ministers in charge of economic affairs after a cabinet meeting on Tuesday. He asked them to put out a package uh, by the end of this month. He said it should include a strategy to keep the economy going even after the consumption tax goes up. Abe is expected to make the decision early next month. He has said he will first determine whether the key policies of economic revitalization and fiscal reconstruction, as well as steps to fight deflation, are working. He has said the government needs new measures to make sure that the tax hike won't derail economic growth. This will be the 100-year cleanup. How, how long will it take to clean this up, in your view? 50 to 100 years. And we're uh, not there yet. We're not to the point of talking about the cleanup yet because they haven't stopped the reaction. It's, it's still happening. Yeah.